In Arizona, the Hispanic Studies Department was created to promote cultural history to students of Hispanic backgrounds to promote higher retention of the Latino population. In 2002, it was changed from Hispanic Studies to Mexican American slash Raza Studies, other known as MAS, M-A-S. In 2010, after it was taught for several years to anyone interested in the six high schools of Tucson, Arizona, HB 2281 was introduced to ban these ethnic courses in any public institutions. The dominant narrative or popular story was that these ethnic studies were promoting the following. Overthrow of the U.S. government, resentment towards a specific race or class designed for a specific ethnic group, and lastly, it was advocating for ethnic solidarity. In other words, it was anti-American or anti-Western civilization. In the video, The Precious Knowledge, we're able to see the counter narrative from the youth's point of view. In Cabrera's reading, we're actually able to see the counter narrative of the adults at a specific event. Uh, both the video and the reading give us a much closer look at the events that took place <clears throat> at the attempt of taking away mass curriculum. In Cabrera's reading, the main counter narrative of the, of the adults was that all these youth, as young as they were, because they were in high school, most of them at this time, uh, they were astounded at what they were willing to lose in order to get mass back into their schools or keep it in their schools. What was most astounding to them was that it wasn't the adults that were putting this organization of this event themselves. It was the students. The students came up with, with this event, which is basically a community school, and it was called School of Ethnic Studies. So the event was that they were going to walk out, and when they walked out, they were going to attend this day, basically from, let's say, 8 o'clock to like 2.30, where we had professors coming from different universities to come talk about our culture and specifically about books that were banned while the HB 2281 was being passed. Throughout this event, the adults were able to see how driven the students were. They would talk to, it was outstanding to most of the adults how much the youth were willing to put up for this. Uh, they created the setting, the community came along and they came up with the venue, the food, the presenters, everybody said yes. That was what this whole movement was about. Unfortunately, yes, mass was taken out in the end and students were not able to keep receiving that kind of curriculum in the institutions. Books were banned, um, although not necessarily because it was still in the libraries, it just wasn't in that specific classroom. Anything that seemed to be um, anti-American had to be taken out of the class. Eventually now, it's still being, the air classes that are being taught that are in reference to mass, um, but back then, these were the events that happened.